Good evening, YouTubers. New time travel, Jaime88. I'm back with another video. And it's time once again for another VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for June 1st, 2020. Got a lot of new stuff. I got 13 VHS tapes, seven DVDs, and two Blu-rays. No laser disc in, in this week, but don't worry, I will get some more soon. So let's not waste any time, let's begin. Let's start off with the 1990 VHS of The Great Outdoors with Dan Aykroyd and John Candy. The film is from 1988 and is directed by Howard Duch. A week in the woods with Roman and Chet. This is no holiday, this is war. And I, this movie is doggone funny. I also have the 1993 reprint of this tape and the original release. Ready PG and it's one hour and 31 minutes. Actually, the 1989 tape, that is. Here's the tape with the sticker label, the end label. And it's printed on the 35th week of 1990 and it's recorded on a scotch tape. Next up, also a 1990 VHS of American Graffiti with Ron Howard, Richard Dreyfus, also starring Paul Lee Matt, Charles Martin Smith, Candy Clark, Mackenzie Phillips, Cindy Williams, Wolf, and Wolfman Jack. The film is from 1973 and is directed by George Lucas. And this one also has Harrison Ford in there as well. I also have this on DVD. Ready PG and it's one hour and 52 minutes. So that's 112 minutes. Here's a tape with the sticker label, end label. It's printed on the 17th week of 1990. Next up, the 1988 VHS of The Spy Who Loves Me with Roger Moore, also starring Barbara Batch and Kurt Jurgens. The film is from 1977 and is directed by Lewis Gilbert. Ready PG and it's two hours and eight minutes, so that's 128 minutes. Here's a tape with the gold sticker label, and it's no print date. This is a 1990 tape. And nope, this does not have the Pink Panther short on there. And next up, the 1987 VHS of Superman and the Mole Men with George Reeves, Phyllis Coates, also starring Jeff Corey, Walter Reed, J. Farrell McDonald, and Stanley Andrews. The film is from 1951 and it's directed by Lee Shulin. And it's part of the family classics genre. And interesting fact, this feature length film was not seen and it's been locked away in the vault since 1951. And it was later incorporated into a two part episode of the adventures of Superman the unknown people not rated and it's 59 minutes here's a tape with the sticker label which is a reprint and it's got two print dates one from January 29th 1993 and February 5th 1993 next up the 1991 VHS of Conan the Destroyer with Arnold Schwarzenegger also starring Grace Jones, Wilt Chamberlain, Mako, Tracy Walter, Ter, I mean, Tracy Walter, excuse me, and Olivia Diablo and Sarah Douglas. The film is from 1984 and is directed by Richard Flesher. The most powerful legend of all is back in a, a new adventure. Rated PG and it's one hour and 41 minutes. Here's a tape with the sticker label and label and it's got printing so we all know what this has at the end. The 20th week of 1992. Next up the 1990 VHS of Starface. Say hello to my little friend. 
with Al Pacino, also starring Michelle Pfeiffer, and the film is from 1983, directed by Brian De Palma. I don't have the original um, Scarface, but I will plan to get that one soon. Rated R and it's two hours and 50 minutes. It's a two tape set. Here's tape one and tape two. Both tapes got the sticker label, the end label, printings. We all know what this has at the end. The 20th week of 1992. The same week in your code is on Conan the Destroyer VHS. Next up, the 1986 VHS of Back to the Future with Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd, also starring Leah Thompson and Crispin Glover. The film is from 1985 and is directed by Robert Zemeckis. I also have this 1991 VHS and also have it on DVD and Blu-ray. Rated PG and it's 1 hour and 56 minutes. That's 116 minutes. And here's a tape with the sticker labels recorded on a scotch tape. And unfortunately, my copy, if you can barely see it, it's got a little bit of, it's got a mold on a tape. And a tape is a bit uh, damaged in the top part. So I'm going to have to find another copy. Here's the end label. And, and the print date is an early pressing of April 2nd, 1986. And it's got the low pitch black screen of death at the end. I know Joshua Cook has this copy as well. Two copies. I hope I can get another copy. The next six tapes are from Star Trek, the original series. Here's Obsession, episode 47. Air date for this one, December 15th, 1967, and it started 36, 19.2. 51 minutes, not rated, still in factory seal. Next up, here's the Apple, episode 38 of the original series. Air date, October 13th, 1967, and it started 37, 15.0. All six tapes are still in factory sealed. Here's the Amenity Syndrome, episode 48 of the original series. 1989 VHS. Air date for this one, January 19th, 1968, and it's starting 43.7.1. Also 51 minutes. And next up, here's A Private Little War. Episode 45. Air date February 2nd, 1968, and it's starting 42.11.4. Here's Assignment Earth, episode 55, 1989 VHS. Air date March 29th, 1968, and it's starting unknown. This was supposed to be a pilot. For a new series, but sadly it was never picked up. Lastly, here's Spectra of the Gun, episode 56. Episode October 25th, 1968, and it started 4385.3. Alright, that's it for the VHS. Let's move on to the DVDs. Here I've got is Barney Miller, The Complete Series. This is a 2011 DVD set. Includes all eight seasons plus a, plus a spin-off series, Fish. Next up I have Bob, the new, new heart, sorry, The Complete Third Season. This is also still in seal, along with season seven. I don't have season four, uh, five, six, which I will, and the last season, which I'm gonna get that one soon. I already have the, the first two seasons on DVD. And next up, here's Bob, the complete series. 
This is a 2012 DVD set, and it's a short-lived series. My brother loves Bob Newhart. Oh, yeah. And next up, here we got Sister, Sister, the complete series featuring all 119 episodes plus a bonus one, 17 again. This is awesome series. Oh, yeah. And next up, here we got Torchwood Miracle Day. I also had this on DVD. Oh, actually, I got this. This has completed my Torchwood series. Yeah. Okay. And next up, here we got Star Trek Discovery Season 2 2019 DVD release. I already have season one of this um, show. I've never seen this show, but I will check it out. And the last two are Doctor Who Blu-rays. We'll start with Doctor Who, the complete fifth series, 2010 Blu-ray release. This is the, the regular cover, not the, the late Tinkler cover. I also have this on DVD as well. And finally, Here's Doctor Who, the complete David Tennant collection. Got this for 24, for a good deal, $23. Awesome. I know my buddy Alex Patterson has this one as well. Okay, so that's it for this week's update. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.